It has been an unorthodox start to the winter season when it comes to weather, but one thing is for sure, it's still been awfully cold outside, which also means we've been raiding our closets for the warm stuff. Uh, that means the coats, the jackets, the scarves, they're all re-emerging as we start bundling up before heading out. For some people on Delmarva, especially struggling families, access to warm clothes like that is just not always as easy as heading over the coat rack. Which is exactly why Coast Country Cares and Spicer Brothers are rising to this challenge. Here with us in Historic Studio D today are April Brilliant. She hosts Middays on Coast Country along with Brianna Spicer. She is a marketing assistant with Spicer Brothers Construction. Welcome both. Love having you guys here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, you guys have been, Coast Country Care has been going on for a while. You've teamed up for a lot of charitable events such as School Supplies, Relay for Life. You guys are really nailing it. You've had some good success. It's been wonderful. And first of all, we have to thank Spice Brothers because they brought the ID to us in the beginning. Yeah. So when we kicked this off uh, back in March, it was their idea. So we are just so thankful for that and all of your help with all the events that we've been doing. It's been great. Wow. Okay, so it's getting cold. Tell us about the, the clothing drive. Absolutely. It's been colder outside than I can ever remember. Yeah. I mean, Mm -hmm. started off earlier too this year. It was just freezing. And um, a lot of people, they don't have heavy coats and jackets that they can just grab and head out. So with this, we're hoping to get as many coats and blankets and warm things as possible so that we can donate to those that don't have them. Yeah, and, and why do you think the community is so supportive of efforts like this? I think um, because everybody knows somebody who's struggling. They see it themselves. and. Um, with things like this, and especially in the cold, the needs are really brought to light. So um, people are seeing the need, and I think that they just really want to help. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you go to your closet, think about how many coats you have mm -hmm. in there, right? And how many of those do you actually wear a winter? They maybe wear one to two coats. So they clean it out. You know, not only you'll be helping someone in need, but you'll be organizing yourself <laughs> for the new year a little bit too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we've been talking all this time about how things are getting more and more expensive. And with families with kids, this has really got to be tough, trying to keep them warm too. Absolutely, everything's more expensive and you obviously want to keep your children warm in the winter. And think about your kids' clothes that you probably still have in your closet that they outgrew. And think about that, so she yeah. just said it. Yeah. You know, that they yeah. outgrew. And I think about that too. I think about it for myself. You know, my kids are now 18 and 20. So, mm -hmm. you know, there may be some jackets from yeah. when they were four Younger. or five. <laughs> Maybe I hold on to things a little too long. There might be some jackets there from when they were little, you know, and sometimes those things are hard to let go of, yeah. but just knowing that you're going to be helping someone else in the process. Keeping somebody warm. Helps. Can I imagine? It, it doesn't have to be used. I mean, if somebody wants to go out and buy some, some jackets, they can do that too and donate them? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, anything yeah. lightly used or new. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll also take blankets and any other warm winter type of wear Socks. as well. Socks are always Gloves. needed. Hats, yeah, absolutely. Scars. Hats. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how does it feel when when you see folks being able to pick things uh, these things up, knowing you're helping these struggling families? It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's it's heartwarming. And sometimes, on occasion, we do get to see the people that benefit from this, and that is really what makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, it does. It's having an idea like we want to do this code drive. We want to do whatever drive it is, and then actually seeing the community coming together to bring all the coats and the blankets. It's really going to be amazing, and we just get so excited seeing all each event come to life. And one of the things that's really interesting, guys, is some of the events that we've done in the past. People that have benefited from the drives are the ones that are coming and bringing things. They're like, you know, I was here for our food drive, for example. Several people came up just so, you know, the Doze of House had helped us out so much before we just knew we had to come and bring something. Wow, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Okay, so remind us what, what kind of things you're looking for. We're looking for new or lightly used um, jackets, heavier coats, blankets, gloves, scarves, hats, anything warm that you'd wear in the winter. And what do you, where do you take them? Well, this coming Saturday, we're going to be out and about at the North Wawa in Salisbury from 11 to 1. I'll be there, so come on out and see me and just drop off all, all your stuff. It's going, to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to be doing some good for some great people. 11 to 1, thanks. Saturday, North Wawa in Salisbury. Absolutely. All right, Brianna, April, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.